predictive astrologer really right so often enough I have to describe the nature of particular emotions and to help people conceptualize how it works how we time it I'm gonna use the transits here transits being the present and current motion of the actual planets and their mathematical angle to your observation, all right, to the plane of observation wherever you're at. So let's say that we, we, we got a chart here, right, and we're using the ascendant, the ascendant point, okay. Okay, this is the first house, the second house, and the third, right. By natural progression, let's say that this is the sign of Aries, Taurus, and Gemini, okay? And that a person in their, in, in their birth, at the time of their birth, they were born with Venus at one degrees of Taurus, okay? So Venus is at one degrees of Taurus right here, when they were born. Right now, as we speak, the planet of Uranus is on its way out of Aries into Taurus. And it is soon going to run over the place of Venus. Now I'm going to give you a mathematical linear view of this. As the planets move through the signs counterclockwise. Now, let's say that the person had Venus at one degrees of Taurus when they were born. So this is natally, natal Venus is at one degrees of Taurus. And by transit, transiting Uranus today, the 22nd of January, right, is at uh, 24 degrees of Aries. Now, Uranus will not meet Venus until about June the 5th of this year, okay? And on June the 5th, Uranus will be at one degrees conjuncting their Venus degree. Now this is how uh, astrologers make predictions with the motion of the planets. So let's look at this linearly, all right? Let's say that we have a number line, all right? This is zero degrees. So we got 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. And from here you got one, two, three, four, five. This represents the barrier or the cusp between Taurus and bottom, yeah, and Aries. Okay? And right now, like I said, Uranus is at 24 degrees. And on June the 5th, it's going to be at one degree where their natal Venus sits. Okay? So, from January the 22nd of 2018 to June the 5th of 2000. And 18, we got this much time before Uranus conjuncts Venus. All right. Okay. So now, what we're trying to be mindful of here is that one day, which is June the fifth, Uranus is going to transiting Uranus is going to conjunct. Is going to run in straight into where this person had Venus. Now, the Uranus deals with sudden or abrupt changes. All right? To put it simply. Okay? And Venus represents partnership from his. Libra at our uh, influence 
or aspect or attributions, and it also represents finances. Um, because of its Taurian attributions, okay? So what we can expect is sudden changes in partnership and finances to occur when Uranus conjuncts Venus. Now, because everything in life is a process, you know, it doesn't happen like, ah, you know, all of a sudden, it manifest through a process of events, then we can understand that the closer Uranus gets to Venus, the more this is going to uh, start to manifest. You understand? Now, let me give you a more visual picture of how that works on another mathematical scale. All right, here we got Aries, and here we got Taurus, and we got natal Venus here at one degree, okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven degrees, right, and you got like 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and zero degrees here, right, well, actually, we can do a few more degrees to make it look like over here, Oranos is here, right, now, when Uranus gets to one degree, it doesn't just manifest like a, you turn a light on. It works like this. Uranus will be here on June the 5th. June the 5th is when this aspect, this conjunction, reaches its most exact when there are zero degrees between transiting Uranus and the place of their Venus. So, we can say that this just lasts for one day. That influence lasts for one day. There are the days before it and the days after it. Then you have the plane of reality. That's how I illustrate it for you, okay? You wouldn't see this, it's a subjective matter. This is how you see it. June the 5th represents that bump there. But you have a period of time before June the 5th and a period of time after June the 5th. This mound is the Venus mound. Is the Venus mound. And these, the red would be degrees. And Uranus is hopping along. Well, there's a period where he steps onto that Venus influence before he gets to the very top and has an exact aspect, zero degrees and zero minutes of arc between it. But you have, while it's climbing up to that aspect, what astrologers call an orb of influence, O-R-B, of influence. That orb of influence will start to give the characteristics of their blending long before or a short period before it actually reaches culmination. And the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I have clients that, are, that say to me, well, your, your prediction was on point. The day that you gave me, it was actually what you described was actually occurring. But it started a little bit before and it lasted a little while after. Well, this is why. Okay, this is why that is. This is why astrology is used with orbit of influence. Personally, I understand that the average person that comes to me for a reading isn't abreast as to the metaphysical processes that go into the making of their reality. Then, let's say that Oranos represents car accidents, okay, or um, loss, sudden loss, and that Venus represents possession. And that what I'm seeking to predict here is the sudden loss of possessions. That, that could occur in several different ways. Let's say it's a car accident. All right? The, the person suffering from the car accident only sees the Uranus Venus impact when they're actually conjunct both at one degree. 
This is the, where the where the where the accident occurred. You see, but this accident is the result of prior action that came before it, and the consequences of that action will ensue thereafter. This is also what the what the orb represents, what those other degrees represent. So it actually perform, it forms a window of time that lasts shortly before June the 5th. And like I said, I use a one degree orb. So I would say about seven weeks, which is like a month and a half. You see, a little bit over a month and a half before and seven months, I mean, and seven weeks after using the transit. What this person does in the seven weeks before the conjunction will affect what their life is going to be like severely for the seven weeks after that conjunction. Okay? Both of which, both seven weeks, the 14 week period, which is about three months using transits, will describe the nature of their life throughout the course of this move motion, right? Using progression, I'm using a move in progress. The planets move uh, are, are much quicker. I only use three days for every planet because they, they move in the chart. That's a whole nother topic of discussion. I hope this sheds some light on the questions that I got this week. I'll be ready to do another video next week with you guys. I think I want to address, you know, a topic that's a little more, uh, Simple. Peace. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or visit the website. Link down in the bottom. And don't forget to share it. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Tell them to come visit my page. I'll shop in their game right on up for them. You know what I mean? Come and see me. Check my page. All right. If you want to know a little bit more about cosmophysics and how I apply the science of astrology, check out my videos here. Subscribe to my channel. All right. Visit often. Leave your comments. I can interact with you. Visit my website, cosmophysics.